Thank you, Nick. Well, with pride and in honor of our nation's heroes, a Veterans Day tradition remains strong at SIU. That's right, and that's where we find Brooke Slyer this morning. Brooke, I know you're there where they're doing the changing of the guard. Tell us what's happening right now. Good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, I am here at SIU where in less than an hour, a Veterans Day ceremony is going to kick off with members of the ROTC. And joining me this morning is one of those members, Cadet Michael Page. So thank you for joining me this morning. And I want to know what made you want to join this program and how long you've been in it? Well, thank you for joining us. I, I think that it starts early with my family being in the military. So from a young age, I was raised in some of the values to appreciate some of the values that the armed services uh, have to hold to do their job. Um, and then as I got older and started being able to make those decisions for myself, just reflecting on the, the freedom and the rights that we have in this country, it just simply felt like the right thing to be a part of an organization that was larger than myself and existed to help defend and protect those rights. Well, we definitely appreciate you joining uh, that program there and uh, continuing on that family tradition. And so here soon, this uh, ceremony is going to be kicking off around 630 this morning. So what all happens during this ceremony? Our Veterans Day ceremony is a changing of the guard vigil that's going to happen from sun up to sundown. It's a way for us to recognize Veterans Day and honor those who have already served. Essentially, uh, it takes a lot of cadets because we're going to be changing shifts every 15 minutes. So every, everyone in our program will be taking a small moment of their day to take a part and recognize those who have served and the sacrifices that they and their families have made. Essentially, it's a way for us to honor the sacrifices that others have already made with a, a small sacrifice in our day. And you've taken part in this ceremony before. So what will be your role today? So at 11:11, I'll be uh, laying the wreath at the at the site with uh, some of the other leadership in the Army and the Air Force ROTC, uh, as as well as taking shifts in the and the changing of the guard. And you know, what does it mean? Are the changing of the guard signify? Because this is something that I'm learning about today. So like like I said earlier, we're, we're doing it so that all of our command staff and our leadership and then those underneath us can be involved. So it's going to take almost all 60 of our cadets as a way to represent everybody to get a chance to see the take a chance to reflect and, and celebrate and commemorate the, the service and the sacrifice that those before us have made. And usually how many cadets are on each shift? So there'll be a, a total of two uh, watching the flag at all times, but we'll have um, always five doing something because we'll be switching them out very frequently. And then again, what times are you guys going to be doing this today? Because I know in previous years it's been like a 24 hour type ceremony. So that's changing this year. So just kind of fill us in on the times. We'll be starting at uh, 530 and we'll be going till 630. Uh, es essentially with with COVID this year, it makes much more sense for us to uh, limit it this way so we don't have to have as many people packed into side the same room while we wait to take our shifts. OK, so it starts at 630 this morning and then it goes until five this evening. So from sun up to sundown, so we'll actually be catching some of the ceremony coming up at 630. That'll be coming up a little bit later on in the show. But for now, back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks for that, Brooke. Well, still to come being quarantined in your dorm.